Come on, bitch. Sorry. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Alien Isolation. Alright, in this video we're gonna actually head back towards Taylor and Samuels. We've got everything we need, we've got the trauma kit, and we've now got the thing we need, the um, the components required to fix the elevator. So we're gonna stick this in right here. And um, hopefully open the... Oh god, the lift's gotta come first, hasn't it? I know, it's, it's there, it's ready. So we didn't actually encounter the alien in the last video. We did hear it and ki hear it kill a lot of men, humans, but we didn't actually physically encounter it ourselves. So we're expecting an encounter anytime soon. <laughs> it's not going to be a smooth ride, is it? Straight back to Taylor and Samuels, I feel. I think they should be nearby, though, once we get to the right floor in the elevator. Because we travel quite a fair distance to get back to them. Okay, find exit to the synthetic fluid plant. Just save right here. Now, we bumped into a, um, a synthetic average Joe in the previous room. And we were not trespassing, trespassing, so it helped us out. Now I wonder if we are trespassing once we head into this zone. We've got to um, approach the Abajos with, with caution. Alright, there's a person up there. It's like three people up there. So we, we have, we're heading back to Taylor and Samuels, but we haven't actually been this way. So we're going a different route to what we know. And there's the alien. And the people are shooting it. So we're going to go around this side, maybe. Right, what can we do? Where are our, what are our options? There's a screen up there. That thing. I wonder what that is. Can we access this? Let's um, sneak forward a bit. Hopefully these people will not shoot us. Can we access this? We can't. So the alien just appeared then. He jumped down and ran off somewhere. Oh. People are shooting. They're shooting me? I think they may be shooting me. They shoot me. There's shots towards me, right? There's no one else here. So let's get, let's get, let's get the fighters on. Well, they they backed off. So let's push forward a bit. Seeing as the alien is nearby, we don't want to really have a fight on our hands. So they're upstairs. Um, can we go through the door? There's no indication on the on the. Um, the motion tracker telling us where to go. So we've got to be a bit careful. Figure this out for ourselves. I just continue to push on to, into new areas. Oh, there's a guy right there. So these are not friendlies at all. Maybe we can sneak up to this guy and um, melee him. Yeah, there's no one else here, so we may as well attack him. And he disappeared into the floor. Such stealth tactics right there. Just gonna jump in here quickly. So I can get an idea of where we're heading. Let's look at the map a second. We'll just turn the volume down a little bit. Um so why is that green and that's blue? Make your way through Seeks and Synthetics to find an alternate way back to the transit. Yeah, so we're going a different way back to meet Samuels and Dame Taylor. So this is upstairs now where those people were shooting from. Let's see if there's anything useful up here, maybe terminal we can use to access something useful or who knows because this is a completely unexplored area so we do not know where we're heading really just looking for a route here's another person let's take this person out again get wrecked all right nice self-defense <laughs> yeah even though we were but not actually getting attacked we started the fight right there there's a save point here we're going to use this there's a terminal here. I don't really know if this is going to be any use to us. Let's just have a look at it. See if there's anything cool. We can look at error, error, error. There's all the errors and there's one message. And there's not really anything that stands out there. Like any codes or anything that we need to look at. It's just a bit of um, gossip, I think. <laughs> Maybe a change in the way they do things before shit went down. So there's... Let's say it's just the body. Got some revolver ammo right there. And now we're going to push on. I think there was one more person. I'm sure there was three of them that were up top. We've killed two so far. And that door doesn't work. Is there an override button on the side? No, there isn't. Alright, let's um, continue to push on then. I think this is where we killed that first guy. It is. So let's look at the map. What are our options? So the observation platform, of course. 
what I'm going to, let me just knock the legends a second. What's that yellow marker? Rewire system. Okay. So we might have to go back down there to use the rewire system. I'm not really sure. Because there is no indication showing us where we're heading right here. And the alien's not really anywhere in sight. So we're going to head into this section. Right, I'm just wondering as well where the other, the other guy went. Because there was definitely three of them. And there's a door there where you can actually access the reception. We haven't actually been in there. So let's just check what's on these desks. Um... Yeah, there's nothing really useful. We're going to go into this new room then. Reception. I'm thinking the third guy might be in here. Just check the uh, in the motion detector as we move forward. Looks like there's an elevator right there. So we could probably use that to get out of here. Just check behind reception and see if there's anything useful. There's a few um, drawers we can open it looks like. Actually guys, I'm, I'm, picking up, I'm coming across a lot of stuff to pick up and I'm not really able to pick it up because my inventory is full. So I'm going to make a few things. I'm going to make a variety of things. Okay guys, I just made a few things there, just a variety of different things. Just so we're able to pick up scraps and any other materials that we find. So, we can't use that because there's no power, so I'm guessing the elevator's not going to have any power as well. Although it's got a green light on the inside, so maybe we can use this. So the Skimmer Tower Transit, that's where um, Taylor and Matthews are. Samuels even. This is um, strangely becoming quite straightforward right now. We've encountered the alien in previous parts, and it's been quite difficult. And now it's smooth sailing all the way through. Just a bit of stealth getting past a few past a few humans, but the aliens seems to be a bit occupied. Maybe it's injured because we it, that explosion we seen a couple of videos ago. Well, I'm not sure what's going on. All right, so Taylor and Matthews should be nearby now. We are at the transit station where they were left, left we, where we left them behind. I mean, it is a massive surprise to me if these two people are still sitting on the floor in, this, in the transit station. Untouched, you know, with the amount of shit that we're getting. Device invalid. Why can't we not use that device? So we'll need to go a different way first. Now, what is this? Use lever. Yeah, that's the only option we've got right there, so we'll have to go through this door first. Hold L2, down. There we go. Check if there's any motion behind the door. Right, okay. And we got some noise. And that's not good. So there is another... Is this like another lift? Another elevator? It's a medical staff entrance. We're not going to medical staff entrance, are we? We're, all, we're really trying to get to um, this transit station. And that's where we are right now. So we need to push forward. Okay, there's um, some stuff behind this desk. And that's the door that was locked. We didn't have access to, so maybe we can come back to this later. I mean, th this game is very free roam in the way that you can go to anywhere on this, um, what do you call this place? Like a, a floating building? <laughs> I don't know. Terminal. So we're going to go for this door. Hopefully we're getting a bit closer now towards Samuels and Taylor. I need to focus on this. Seeks and security bypass. Here we go. Right, there's a thing over there, a white light on the wall, and that they are normally map updates, so we're gonna click on that. Hopefully get some um update map. So what do we update right there? I think we maybe just un unveiled um some of it. So the where we're heading, right, is um actually there's a box here. The flashlight batteries are full, so we're gonna reload the battery on the flashlight. There we go. Hold triangle by doing that. Is I pick that up now? So we've got full all the time. And now, Taylor and Math and Samuel. I keep calling Matthews. Samuels, if they are not eating, being eaten alive, they should be down here. I sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be... Hey. Identify yourself. Ripley. From the Torrens. Relax, kid. She dead? What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlow, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? 
Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go! We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful. Seeing as you screwed up the track. Oh, shut your face, mate. Do you realize yeah, what I've right. been through? We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Normally in games like this, when you get a group of people by your side, you feel a bit safer. But we're seeing what the alien can do, and it's not safe. We really should hurry. Taylor. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm Don't going. worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. Yeah, I'm not really feeling too safe with these people by my side, because the alien just rips through everyone. So we're going to save here again. Whenever you see a save point in this game, you really should just save, because that's the only checkpoints you get. Apart from mission start points, which are quite far apart. Okay. So the alien's not going to appear too soon, I don't think, because you wouldn't appear with those people down there. They're going to obviously take me away from the pe people, and as soon as I get between a few doors, the alien is just going to drop down. Okay, there's a little surprise. Right. There's a door over there we can access. That's got an X on it, that's not a good sign. I'm just checking a quick look around, alright, let's go. Let's go to this door with the... Um, that requires the hacking tool. Well, what's it called? The maintenance tool is what it's called. So L2 and R2, turn it left. Nice and simple. Call the elevator. Yeah, as soon as we enter this next floor now, the alien's just gonna go, hello, and just pays a little drop, drop in and want to eat our face, most likely. So let's use this. Look at that, you can hear footsteps already. So we got a new flashbang. We activate the transit at the main console. Is that over there? That looks like it, it's all green and flashy. But there are a lot of hide points though. Right, I'm just going to quickly see what this is. Gas torch required. Okay, so there's another tool we can get to um, open in certain doors get the compound right this is the thing we need so you need to hack each screen don't need to actually unlock whatever you're doing the save shit. right hello i know someone's in here shit who's this guy is he friendly i don't think he's a friendly no, definitely not Calm friendly. Calm down in there, you android fuck! I don't think anyone's a friendly, unless you, they shout out, I'm a friendly. <laughs> it's like playing DayZ. You can't trust anyone. <coughs> right, he's got a gun in his hand, so he's, he's very hostile. We're going to have to take this guy out. Silently. Let's get the wrench out. The maintenance tool. Let's maintain this guy's um, aggression towards... Any foreign noises? The last time I slept. Come on, bitch! Sorry. You probably had a family, that guy in Everton. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, not working. So what can we do? There is still movement over that side. That's not good. So, the objective is telling us to go right here. So to, to access this, we need to turn the power on. It's all been shut down, so what can we do here? There's a green light over there. I'm sure there was a save point down here somewhere. No, there wasn't. Maybe that was, I was confused with this. So there's a green light here. Maybe this is going to just turn it all on for us. There we go. That left one's gone green now. Right, there's definitely like something moving around right in front of us there. The aliens in the vents. So as soon as we start this, we're probably going to get an alien in our face. Okay, so power available. Disable security lockdown. So that I can't access it just, just yet. So let me just check down here. There's more screens over this side. So maybe this has got something to do with the, the security lockdown. We can access this one first. Here we go. 
So we activate the transit at the main console. So we turn on. Oh fuck! Really? Napage Joe? I think you can kill these with um, the revolver. As long as you get enough headshots on them, you know? Where's he gone? Right. So you, de you can definitely kill them. Right, this guy definitely. <laughs> He's mourning the body. <laughs> He's got his hands behind his back in the back of proper. Um, professional way. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy with the loud gun because there's no one else near. Oh, there he is. Huh? Right, there we go. Shit, run, run, run. I reload, reload. How do you reload? There we go. Come on, just die. Okay, you have to put every bullet in individually. Shit, he's right there. He's right there. You get to press square for every bullet to reload. Come on. There we go. You got there in the end. So I think we got 18 bullets, we got 7 left, so it took us about <laughs> a lot of bullets, ten, like 11 bullets to kill him. 11 bullets, but we missed about 2 or 3, so maybe it's like nine, 8 or 9 headshots to kill a synthetic, which is a lot. I no way was I going to do this without him detecting me. That's the first time we've used our gun as well. So get back to transit station, we've done what we came for. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. Oh no. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. So the, the elevator is broken, which is a load of bollocks, really. So the lights are all on here now. Alright, let's let's move out. So we need to go back a different how was this? Telling us to go this way? That's not right. We cannot go that way. So we need to get back our own way, really. We're going to go for this way because we haven't been in here. There's nothing really useful in there. I'm thinking to myself right now, maybe I should use the models of Cocktail on that um, guy instead. Because I've seen one burn and he dies instantly. Gas torch, there we go. So this is the tool we need to un open those things that we've seen, the orange squares on the walls. So maybe we can actually do that now. Turn that off. <laughs> There's a dead body on the ground. Let's search this guy. Alright, so now guys, we're going to actually end the video here, just so, because we've got a save point. And we'll make our way back to Taylor in the next video. So thanks for watching guys, see you guys in the next one, bye!